I am Ray Yeager. I am a health geographer at the Christina Lee Brown Environment Institute. I study links between health and place. So a lot of my work focuses on South Louisville as part of our Green Heart Project. We're trying to assess the extent to which trees can mitigate exposure to air pollutants, thereby improving cardiovascular diseases. We're looking at a lot more people in a lot more concentrated area, getting down into the types of trees and the placement of trees. Because if you just plant as thick of a row of trees as you can, then the air pollution can just sort of go up and over and back down. So what you have to do is get staggered rows of trees and get the trees a little bit spaced out so that air can actually flow through the trees and then it's that contact, the air pollution can stick to the leaves or actually be respired by the trees. And then trees with a large leaf surface area are better at reducing air pollution because there's more space for the air to make contact with the leaves. Trees with a waxier surface reduce air pollution a little bit more. And then a lot of trees have microscopic hairs on the surface of the leaves. So trees with more hairs can capture air pollutants. So we've got field students, GPS logging trees, and then we're cross-referencing those with the planting records in the neighborhood so that we know exactly what was planted where and when and we can keep track of that tree over time. Our group collaborated with Arden Pope and some of his students at Brigham Young University to do a study among about 400,000 people spread across the United States. We found a very strong association between air pollution and mortality. And then among the entire group, we found no association between greenness and mortality. But when we dug down, we found that among the most active study participants, there was actually a very strong relationship. So people that lived in greener areas had lower mortality. People that were exposed to higher levels of air pollution also had significant associations between more greenness and less mortality. And then it kind of canceled out a lot of this deleterious effect of exposure to air pollution. And if you can increase that activity level, increase the greenness level, then you're in a much better place when it comes to your risk for premature mortality. Once we have a better understanding of the relationship between environmental greenness and health outcomes, we can tailor tree plantings to improve human health and really make the financial case that tree plantings are worth it and maximize those plantings to improve the health of communities, reduce health disparities, and all sorts of other things that urban environments really need right now. We're talking about trees and health and a reduction in air pollution and a reduction in noise pollution, increased walkability and lowered heat island effects. As a health geographer, all of these questions are really important to me, but this thing with trees, people tend to get really excited about, which has been a fun experience. I'm Ray Yeager and I'm part of the environment.